Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Well, today I'm going to show you how to make this delicious old-fashioned uh, Yankee pot roast, I suppose you would call it. Um, almost better than mom used to make. And uh, here I was just taking it out of the uh, crock pot. You can see how nice and uh, pork tender it was. This came out absolutely fantastic, by the way. But I ended up trying a different recipe, and I hope you enjoy it. So why don't we just go right into the recipe from this point. And uh, yeah, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks. I ended up picking up this uh, chuck roast at the uh, local market basket there. You can see it was kind of expensive, $21. But I wanted to get a good piece of the uh, bone in and with a lot of marble. So what I did is I ended up making a rub with onion powder, garlic powder, salt, pepper. And then I used the uh, spoon and just stir it up a little bit. And I was looking for some fresh thyme and I couldn't find it. So I had some organic thyme I wanted to use up and up. Basically, it was just the amounts of whatever you feel comfortable with putting in. It is organic time that I had in, but most of my uh, spices are coming from you from the uh, McCormick family. And uh, yeah, I can see that the uh, time I'm just showing you how I put it into the uh, little cup over there, and then I'm just taking it at this point, just kind of like uh, stirring it around a little bit, and then I will show you that the uh, cranberry sauce. So I bet you didn't know you could put cranberry sauce over your meat, huh? We either did I, I forget where I found this recipe from, but I wanted to give it a try. My only regret on the cranberry sauce was the sugar-free. I was looking for the sugar-free cranberry sauce because it's important for me to continue to lose the weight, but it still came out good and I still ended up losing weight for the week. So I'm taking the uh, meat out of the package and at this point I got a pair of uh, gloves on there because I've been finding cooking with gloves has been a lot better for me. And then I'll let chunk all over my hands. Now, as always, I always take a piece of paper towel and I just pat my meat dry. It's just a habit I've been getting into it ever since I cook, uh, been cooking. And I'm putting on a clean uh, sheet of uh, my cutting board over there. I got these plastic cutting boards at the uh, Marshalls. You can pick these up just about anywhere or Amazon. And then once I got it all patted dry, I'm taking the uh, rub and I'm going to kind of massage it all in on both sides. Just follow me along and uh, for the next process and then once, oh yeah once i got it all in i put it into the uh, slow cooker and uh i put the uh opened up can of jelly and i uh, popped it off with the knife and then i just flattened it all out with the my gloves and, and i added about a cup of water and then i added uh maybe about a half a dozen cloves of garlic and it was fresh garlic i just put it right over the top and then i uh, once i put the water on the uh, in the crock pot a slow cooker if you prefer I ended up cooking this for five hours under the high setting and then I just put it on warm until we were ready to eat and for a side dish that day I made it some roasted carrots. My what I want to do with the carrots, it's a baby carrots, a little bit of uh, uh, avocado oil and some salt and then I uh, popped them into the oven for about three quarters of an hour till they were pork tender and my wife didn't care for them for some reason or other but I, I really love them and you know that's how I'm going to be and to get away from this stodgy stuff because it's still important for me to very lose weight you can see how I'm rubbing it right in just uh, just like giving a back massage but just follow me along with the next process steps and the total cooking time on this was five hours and, I, and again I put it on warm until the uh, process was done and uh, yeah so let's just continue on and continue watching the video and we'll talk about it at the end Well, at this point, I was just taking a knife and I was just cutting it up a little bit there. And then you can see where I'm taking my uh, my hands and I was just kind of like squashing it up a little bit and just kind of like rubbing it all over the top of the uh, chuck roast. And uh, I just kind of wish you guys could experience smell of vision because it could, the only thing I regret is, oh my God, it was so good and it was so... The smell in the house was absolutely phenomenal and uh, then I ended up cutting up my garlic and cut in half and I took what I could take out of the garlic, there was some pieces of the garlic I found that were rotten. So I ended up using what I could of the garlic and then I uh, ended up, uh, again I put it on high for five hours and uh, you could typically uh, set it and forget it and walk away from it. And, 
you know, I've, a lot of times what I've done when I cook and stuff in the uh, slow cooker, if I want something like in the, you know, mid-morning meal, I'll put it in the crock pot overnight, let it cook on low heat, but the uh, also nice setting. You can even go out to a grocery shop, and if you're working and, you know, to do something in the crock pot, and then when you come home, the meal will be ready like I used to do when I used to work full time by myself and many, many years ago. But yeah, so it is quite something, I guess, this is the first time I ever cooked with, uh, cranberry sauce over the top and again there you know we're trying to lose weight this the cranberry sauce is not low carb and uh don't judge my food but you know i'm just showing you different options about how you can do it what you can do to get a different meat flavor now later on down the road i'll pick up a couple of maybe half a dozen cans of cranberry sauce low carb and i'll use those for cooking and maybe i'll try it with chicken and some other different recipe ideas i'm thinking of and uh it's just, it gives it, it gives the meat a, a really, really good sweet flavor, uh, not overpowering or anything like that. My wife really loved it, and the, and the meat was, again, was in the Instant Pot or Crock Pot. Either one, either one works fine for this particular recipe. And what's really great about the uh, Crock Pot and the type of method is that, you know, the, the flavors you get from it are unbelievable. And you can see over here, chop, I, uh, I'm cutting up my uh, garlic to try to get much garlic as I could out of it and uh, yeah it really helps to have a nice sharp knife there these are nice uh, again my wife got me this knife set from uh, Coles and you know I should have got this a long time ago because it's very important when you're cooking to have the right tools I put about a cup of water in when I was ready to close the lid when coming up in the next uh, segment over here and I went to the sink and just rinsed off my cloves of, cloves of garlic and you see right, I put the garlic right over the top. Now that tastes better than fresh really guys you know and uh, yeah so then this I'm showing you over here in the photograph because of the video uh, I had a hard time taking a video from it but I set the uh, timer for five hours in under high setting and uh, again it came out really really great and the next second seg segment <laughs> sorry about that uh, we'll show you how the uh, final product is going to look like over here after the five hour mark I'm uh, slowly adjusting the camera angle trying to get a good camera angle for you guys so remember, remember I'm filming by myself so I'm going to pop off the lid I love this crock pot I bought by the way I had an old fashioned one and you know we had it for about 40 years it was time to upgrade and uh yeah, so then uh, you see a lot of steam coming out of there, and I'll show you the uh, final result in a second there. Here you go. Doesn't that look really great, guys? Oh, my God. This is so t so sticking good. I, I, I swear my mom made this, you know. But, uh, you know, nothing tastes better than your mom or your grandmother's cooking over the years, and I was just taking the uh, meat out of the... Uh, crock pot and putting it placing it into a bowl and you can see that it was clearly all falling apart and when I was uh, taking it out with the uh, slotted spoon I guess that's what we call it a spoon with the holes in it whatever and it made, it made a ton of juice by the way and you could even take a little bit of xanthrum gum and thicken it and if you're not doing low carb keto or low carb weight loss you could probably thicken it up with a little bit of flour or whatever and uh, make a nice gravy but you know I was fine with the way it was and uh, it was really quite 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 flavorable. If I can come up with the link and find the link where I got the recipe from, I'll be gladly to share the recipe and uh, her, her YouTube channel. But I, I was just kind of like, a, like as always, I'm always just looking for something different and unique to try, something that's appropriate for weight loss. And uh, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Uh, Going forward, we're going to continue on with the recipe filming and do some live videos from time to time and continue talking about my, my uh, weekly updates and don't forget we're going to have hip surgery next week. So I might be out of commission for about a week or two until I can get myself back into the groove of things. But anyways, don't forget to like, share, my, subscribe to my channel and uh, if anybody hasn't told you this lately, uh, you are amazing. Love you guys and thanks for watching.